Hi guys, today we're gonna do in a collaborative injection painting um, using squirt bottles. I don't like using syringes, so we're gonna use the squirt bottles. Um, we're gonna do it over basic Mars black. And we're gonna do a little bit of titanium white. This has got some paint over it. This is sky blue. This is violet or lavender, whichever color you want to prefer. I like a little runny. This is a pink color I'm going to use. I put a little bit of iridescence in it, so there might be a little bit of a sparkle. I'm going to use a little bit of yellow, nice brilliant yellow, and some gold. This is my first video with my brand new phone. I'm really excited to have it. Um, <laughs> I guess I haven't even said my name yet. My name's Skylar. I'm a new artist out here. All right, let's do the edges first. And I'm just starting out, so if you have any comments or advice or anything, that's pretty fun too. I'm just going to make the whole thing pretty black. And we're just going to help it along the edges here first. That's what I like to do. fingers. I'm a finger painter. I like to use my fingers just to get in there. So hence the gloves. I don't feel like there's anything wrong with using your fingers. Now I'm not doing a thick layer of this black because it's sort of thin and I don't want it to eat up all my paint. I'm going to change it. And this music is some of my favorite music to listen to um, while I paint and while I do stuff. It's called Explosions in the Sky. You should check them out. Um, all of this music is theirs, and they are fucking brilliant. Um, Alright, so now that we got the black laying out, I'm going to go ahead and do some white. Shake it up a little. I like air bubbles. Don't know why. They go away after a minute, but I like them. Trying to get the paint out of the tip here. And loosen the pressure so that way it doesn't just splat out when I do it. Don't want it to splat out. <laughs> um, okay, so today I'm gonna make a shape, and this is what I kind of like to do. I like to call it purposeful pouring. Um, if you like to call it something else, call it something else. But I kind of like to make a shape and then tilt it to see what else happens and kind of make it a different, an abstract kind of shape. So, um, today I'm kind of feeling a little bit like we should do this. And just do that with like the tip up the hand. And today I'm feeling like a sailboat. Maybe. Okay. I don't think I gave myself enough room. Let's see if I tilt it a little. Okay. Good. And we're just gonna go like this. I don't want to be as squiggly as it is, but whatever. And we'll just do like a so. To make a little sailboat. I'm not even doing it any sort of certain way. I'm just trying to get some white on there to protect the, from the black a little bit. So that way, when I pour the 
these different colors that I'm gonna do. It doesn't just bleed into the black and just fade away into nothingness. And all this work was for nothing, and I just might as well just painted this canvas black and then sold it. Alright, so, um, my rhyme and reason says that I want to do purple first. And I'm just going to splat that, apparently. Wasn't as careful as I was with the other one. Mixing with the black. See, this is what I was afraid was going to happen. Maybe I should have made it a little bit more thicker, probably. It's fine. I'm just going to come in with the blue here. Splat that in there. I'm not a huge fan of that purple and what it's doing and mixing in there, but I will go ahead and do some yellow sails here. Do that. Do the blue guy here. Look, we're running. We're running. I don't think I'm going to use any more of that purple because it's ran so much, but I will go ahead and use some more pink. Just maybe use some purple later and I'll make a little bit more. Maybe I'll make it a little thicker in a minute. Um, let's go ahead and just tilt it and see what happens. Let's do this. Okay. Hmm. I'm not a super huge fan of what's happening, but let's go ahead and make this purple a little bit thicker. I do have. Artist Loft's light violet, violet, light violet. And I usually just put it in there and shake it up. I don't know how much I put in there. I literally just put some in there sometimes. I sometimes have a number count that I do for it, where I do a couple counts here and there, and like maybe like one or two. But um, mostly. Mostly just uh, guesstimating is what it is. See how it no longer has that shape I wanted anymore? That's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna do that. See what happens. And from what I understand, we take this, we put it in here, and we go like so. what we're gonna do. This is an injection painting. It's a test. It's a good test of skill because I'm trying a bunch of different things and this is a new kind of thing I'm doing. Usually I just pour and pour on top of it. I'm gonna add some more gold here just to Since I have kind of some more color that I want and some more 
freedom to move it about. I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the straw. I'm just using it to blow. And we need to like the paint a little more. Without trying to muddy it up. My paint's starting to muddy up a little bit. I'm not going to do a whole lot more of that, but I am going to add a little bit more color just so that way it pops a little bit more. I said I wasn't going to do this anymore, but... Thank you. 
Let's just knock my whole stuff over, huh? That would be fun. I'm happy with it. And this will be the last pour I do. Just a tiny little bit. Just because I have some left and because I think it'll make it just really, really pop. I'm not even going to really play with it too much. I'm going to let it do its own thing now. Um, I think that's it. Um, I think that's my injection painting for my Fluid Artist Lab. Um, we're on a group on Facebook. And we are doing a collaborative project challenge. And here is my injection painting with injection squirt bottles. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.